Investigators from the Australian Transport Safety Bureau arrive in Learmonth. In the cabin, there was quite a lot of damage, mainly to the ceiling panels and the ceiling fixtures. Investigators hope data from the plane's quick access recorder can shed light on what went wrong. They focus on the fly-by-wire control system. I'm seeing two abrupt changes in the elevator's position at cruise. Looks like that's what caused the pitch downs. Were those commands coming from the pilots? Oh, they weren't. Weird. Navire one fault. That's not right. It seems the plane's fly-by-wire system was sending rogue commands to the flight control surfaces. What the hell is going on? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey. Investigators hey. need to hear the pilot's story. We went through everything that they recalled and any anything unusual in the, in the period beforehand. Describe the flight leading up to the pitch downs. Anything that could have caused these erratic movements. They had a pretty good recollection, but had no explanations as to why this happened. And you were getting a lot of faults. Oh, yeah. There were a few. Have a look for yourself. It's like the plane had a mind of its own. The A330's post-flight report logs all the cautions and warnings that were affecting the plane. They studied the list, looking for anything that might connect the various warnings. The first question you have is, what's the common element between all these? All these errors are connected to Adaru 1. The Adaru, or Air Data Inertial Reference Unit, relays important information to the flight computers about the environment outside the plane. That Adaru obviously became an important part of the puzzle because it was associated with so many faults. Look at this. I've never seen anything like it. They spot something highly unusual. These are wild angle of attack fluctuations coming from AOA-1. Angle of attack, or AOA, is the angle of the plane's wing relative to airflow. The higher the angle, the less smooth the airflow over the wing. And if the aircraft uh, angle of attack gets too high, then the aircraft can stall. So it's a very important parameter. From over 50 degrees nose up, back to level, then negative 50 degrees. That's not what the pilots described at all. The crew testified that the plane pitched nose down twice. They never said it pitched up. What do the elevator readings say? 10 degrees nose down. He checks other FDR readings that record the plane's pitch. That data also confirms what the crew reported. Show me the angle of attack again. From the flight data recorder information, we could see that the elevators moved in a nose down direction, about 10 degrees. There was an abrupt rate of change. The plane did not pitch up. There's no way this AOA data is correct. What will faulty data like this do to an A330? I'm not sure, but I bet it's not good. Let's go ask Airbus. 